y'all, it's Betsy from Cut and Corners Vinyl in Nederland, Texas, and today we have a fun video for you. I found this Joanne brand vinyl, and this is a permanent adhesive, and this is in the color Taffy Laser, and it is like a holographic foil permanent adhesive. So I figured we would test it out today to see how it cuts, how it applies, those types of things. Now, I can't tell you for sure the longevity of it because I, there isn't any information on here for outdoor use, but from personal experience, most of the time with like these specialty like foils and glitters, they're not recommended for outdoor use. And if they can be used outdoors, the lifespan is not very long. But we are gonna be placing it on a purple painted aluminum tumbler. Um, I'm not sure what we're gonna do yet. We might do a monogram. We'll see how it goes. Um, but I wanted to see how it applied, how it cut, to give you some tips and tricks to use it. Because let's face it, we all go to Joann's, we all go to Michael's, we all go to Hobby Lobby. So seeing what they carry and seeing how it works and seeing if it's something that you might be interested in trying. Now, if you'll give me a moment to get the camera angle changed, I will show you everything that we are going to do. Okay, so I think I'm gonna use the Blessed Wife right here, this file, which is in the Love SVG Summer Bundle, which is $21. I will have it linked in the description box. There is only 13 days left to purchase it. And if you do purchase it off of the link, then I will earn a small commission. But I figured that one would be kind of cute to do for the cup. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is now I'm back at Cricut Design Space. And I'm going to go ahead and search my downloads folder for the file that starts with blessed. So now I'm going to choose blessed wife. Click open. There we go. Now we're going to go ahead and click save. And you could easily make this design two colors. You select it by making sure it's green. There we go. So now it is set. Now what I want to go ahead and do is because I am going to do it in one color, I'm going to go ahead and click weld. And we're going to go ahead and change the size of this down to three and a half inches wide because we are doing a cup. Now we're gonna go ahead and click make it and click continue. Now from filling this vinyl, I think it'll work with regular adhesive vinyl, um, but I want to use the foil setting. Let's see. Got to go all the way down. Okay. Now we're going to choose the adhesive foil setting and click done. Now we're going to load it into the machine and see how it cuts. Give me a moment to change the camera and I will show you everything that we are going to do. So whenever you purchase this, it is a 12 inch by 48 inch piece. So I don't want to load all that in my machine. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is just grab my scissors and trim off a piece that is big enough to cut my design on. And I think this is $12.99 at Joann. I could be wrong. So now I'm going to go ahead and lay this out on my Cricut mat, which foils, as I said, are a little bit more difficult to work with whenever you're talking about adhesives. They are not my favorite, but they are pretty. So smooth that out. We're gonna go ahead and load it into the machine. Okay, and send it to cut. We shall see how this does. And this shouldn't take too long because it's not a super complex design. It's already at 21%. But I wanted to show you and test all the features of it. So if this doesn't work, we'll try a different cut setting. 
but I really did think this vinyl was absolutely gorgeous. So I was like, well, we'll test it out and see how it goes. It sounds awful. But the part of that is, as you can tell, my machine is filthy. Maybe I'll do a video over how I clean my machine. If y'all are interested in that, don't give this video a big thumbs up and tell me down below. And my machine gets so filthy because I use spray adhesive. But I like to keep the longevity of my mats. And it is done. Okay. So that seems like it cut pretty well. So we're going to go ahead and remove that off. So we're going to grab our scissors because we want to save as much as this as possible because it's expensive. See, that's one of the things I don't like about foil. If you see how it's wanting to lift already from the paper backing and I haven't even started weeding yet. But, you know, it is what it is. So now we're just gonna trim nice and close to the design. There we go. And we're gonna go ahead and weed it. Okay. Working with foil, definitely recommend slow and steady when you're weeding. Okay. Because with as plasticky as it is, as you can see, it doesn't bend very well. There we go. Trying to make sure to get around all the little curves. But so far, this is weeding really nicely. Okay. Didn't lose any of the little hearts. Let's weed out our centers. Okay. And I picked a purple cut for this because I thought that would look super duper cute on that color. Okay. I need to grab a paper towel. See, don't you love it when I forget stuff? Naughty is giving me crazy eyes. Okay, so. Now that that's weeded, we're going to go ahead and trim our mask down. Remove the paper backing if it wants to remove. Cover almost the whole thing, but we're going to take our scissors and trim off a piece of this corner because I went too close over here and cover that up. Go ahead and use your squeegee. Squeegee it down. Okay, now with our cup, I'm gonna go ahead and take our denatured alcohol, which you can use just regular isopropyl alcohol. It is making sure that there is no grease or oil on the surface of your cup. And I typically do not seal vinyl. You could epoxy it. You could probably put some decoupage. I'm not sure. But, okay, so, so far the regular mask works with it, releasing pretty easily. 
There we go. Just making sure all the little hearts stay. Okay. Now, when I do cups, I like to put them in my lap just like this to make sure I'm looking at them dead on to line up my decal and start from the center and work my way out. Then squeegee down. Okay, let's see. Okay. Oh, that looks really, really pretty. Okay, smooth that down because that wanted to lift. Now, I am seeing a few little things that I don't like. if you can see where it but foils are as i said are harder to work with so what i'm doing is i just ran my pick under the edge so that way i can take and work it down where i can smooth that out so there we go everything is adhered at this point have one there we go squeegee out that one little wrinkle right there but it's hot with this type of vinyl it's very difficult to see if there are any wrinkles but look how pretty that is now I would definitely let this cure onto the cup for 24 to 48 hours I would not use it before then but so far so good it performed really really well and I love the color so it's a little bit on the pricey side. I would buy it when it's on sale, but it's so far, it seems like it's a good value for the money. So if you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button right down below. And if you hit the notification bell icon next to it, that will notify you when I post new videos, which is every single weekday, Monday through Friday. Don't forget to check me out on all my social medias, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, and Instagram. And check out my second channel, which is just Betsy Gocher. I do all things crafting for Disney, Disney reviews, keto, makeup, all kinds of fun stuff. So I guess that's it for today. So we'll see y'all next time. Bye.